Welcome to the extra practice for the stop B. This extra practice lesson is going to be a little bit special. When we have a stop B at the end of a word, as long as it doesn't connect to a vowel or something special happens like that, it's just going to stop. So web. It is always possible that you can produce a little weak B, but it's very common to stop it. Inside of a word, we have some special interesting things that can happen. Inside of a word, you do not want to have a nice, good, clear cutoff because that's just going to make it harder to say the word. So you can do a held stop where you hold that B for a second and then instead of B, right, producing the sound, you just gently open and let the next sound flow out. Or you can actually release a little weak B and then move into the next sound. Which one should you use? It doesn't matter. They both happen. Whatever one comes out is fine. Because it's easy to accidentally overproduce that B, we're just going to keep things simple and focus on doing a held B that doesn't have a strong cutoff. So let's get started. In the middle of a word, subject, subject, object object, objection, subjective, abnormal. There are some special cases here. If the sound after the B in the middle that would stop is an S, then you're going to go into the B, but when it gets released, there's going to be a little bit of a P sound instead. For example, website website absent obstacle subsection one more special case here is if there is an m sound after the b you have the option to completely drop the b but if you are enunciating very clearly don't drop the b submit submit submarine Submarine, webmaster, webmaster. Now let's look at examples at the end of a word. The first thing I want to mention here is that if you see MB at the end of a word, the B is silent. It's just spelling, sob, job, mob, rob, bob, knob, swab, throb, cab, lab, jab, tab, stab, slab, crab, grab, drab, scab, dub, cub, rub, sub, hub, pub, tub, stub, club, shrub, scrub, grub, fib, rib, crib, bib, verb, herb, curb, disturb, superb, suburb, garb, noob, web, celeb, dweeb, bulb. There are plenty more lessons for you to practice with to improve your accent or your general English make sure you check those out. Let me know if you have any questions, and thank you guys so much for watching another English Hacks lesson. I'll see you in the next one.